I'm not going to let you hurt me, Nora. I'm not going to let you tell me that I don't love you or that I haven't tried to give you as much as I gave Lori. I know I'm not perfect because enough angry people in this house have told me so tonight. But I'm not going to be a doormat for all the anger and frustration that you or Aunt Kate or anyone else wants to lay at my feet. I did not create this universe. I did not decide who lives or dies or who's rich or poor or who feels loved and who feels deprived. If you feel cheated that Lori gets more than you, then I feel cheated that I had a husband who died at 36. And if you keep on feeling that way, you'll end up just like me. With something much worse than loneliness or helplessness. And that's self-pity. Believe me, there's no leg that's twisted or bent that's more crippling than a human being who thrives on his own misfortunes. I'm sorry, Nora, that you feel unloved. And I will do everything I can to make it up for you, except apologize for it. I'm tired of apologizing. After a while, it becomes your life's work. And it doesn't bring any money into the house. You know, if it's taking your pain and Aunt Kate's anger to get me to start living again, then God will give me the strength to make it up to you. But I will not go back to being that frightened, helpless woman that I created. I've already buried someone that I love. Now it's time to bury someone that I hate.